So here's a video I started making a little while ago on Google Cardboard. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is the plastic version of Google Cardboard 1.0. And I ordered this just to have a little play around with and probably do a video on. And how this works is you put your phone behind this lens here that I'm showing you and essentially this then becomes a VR headset. Now what Google did initially with this one is you self-assemble it so it comes completely flat pack and then you assemble it like so matching the numbers to each other you can see four to four at the top there and all around the edges it's one to one two to two etc etc and you would assemble this and you put in any Android phone initially there was limited uh, support for Android phones so the Nexus models were obviously the favored models because they're actually made by Google but obviously others would work too, just some of them had limited functionality. And once you can work out how to actually build the thing, you've got to fold that down and then stick that down to the other side. I'm trying to work out as we speak. You need to take that white stuff off like so, and then that sticks down to the bottom there. And what you're just looking at there, the metal thing, is actually how you interact with this first generation version of the headset, which, I mean, calling it a headset doesn't feel right head where is more right, you know what I mean, like that. But that magnet right there is how it interacts with the phone. This changes in what I'm going to show you later, and when you put your phone in and got it all set up, it uses the phone's gyroscope so it knows when it's moving, and obviously showing the screen makes it three-dimensional, because it's actually split into two, exactly like this. So from your perspective, it is actually a 3D headset. But what Google did at Google I.O. is announced the Cardboard 2.0. So I held off on releasing that video and decided to make this one instead. Now, the Google Cardboard 2.0, as we're going to call it, doesn't come ready to assemble. It's already assembled. Google has already assembled it for you. And all you need to do is take the covers off the lenses and put your phone in. Now, there's a bit of Velcro at the top here. And we want to put the phone in there after putting that out and oh sorry there's a little bit of assembly there's not much but there's a little bit of assembly as I'm trying to work out there now that just flips over the top as it's the viewer for you and blocking out external light and then the top will clip onto the velcro just there and you want to add an Android phone and even Apple phones are starting to get support for it so you want to download and install the cardboard app and as you can see there is a few more video apps right there and you want to switch the viewer, so you always do a first time setup, and you want to find the QR code on the headset itself. So in the bottom right corner on the cardboard version 2, it recognizes it straight away, and it's set up and ready to use. So select what you want to do, and put it in the cardboard headset. Make sure to put your phone in the right way up. You want to have the settings icon on the downside, not the upside like that. And then put your phone into the headset, close it up and you're ready to go once you've got it centered. Before you use the cardboard version 2, make sure you take the lenses off. I kind of forgot and recorded a large section of this video with these on, which I then had to reshoot. But one of the key differences between the cardboard version 2 and the cardboard version 1 is how you interact with the phone. Now instead of being a magnet on the side, you're pressing a button on the top and what that does is move this little thing which interacts with your touchscreen so it will support a much wider variety of phones than if you used a magnet. Then load up your cardboard application and away you go, you're ready to use the VR headset. Closing up the top is easy for your phone, uh, this is a Nexus 4 going in, uh, it will support phones bigger than the Nexus 4. I don't know if you're going to want to go as big as the iPhone 6 Plus, whatever it is, but I imagine that's going to stick out the sides. So you can order a bigger one, I think, actually exists. So let's have a look at some of the apps. This is the YouTube 360 degree video app. There's plenty of 360 degree videos on YouTube at the moment. And this is an app called Fish Schooling, where you school some fishes. And I hope you've been able to tell, but I'm actually moving the headset round with the camera stuck to the back of it. You can tell more in this shot because it's falling away from the eyepiece. But I'm actually moving the headset around, it's using the phone's gyroscope to know where I'm looking. And it works. It's completely three-dimensional when you wear the headset. It's just really difficult to film because you've got a hole for each eye and it doesn't really work when you're trying to film it. But 
Google Cardboard is really cool and it'll turn your phone into a cheap VR headset. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're not going to be playing any high-end games on it like you might an Oculus Rift or a Project Morpheus, etc. But, I mean, it's a novel concept and because it's like £12, £10, £10, £20, whatever that is in your local uh, currency, it's absolutely worth it, even just to have a mess around with. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching everyone.